Salvation Army's red kettlebell ringers are a staple of the holidays, but the organization needs your help to keep this tradition going. Joining us now is the Salvation Army Area Commander, Major Todd Mason. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. So, Major Todd, we already know about this uh, campaign. It's definitely famous. It's a part of the holidays. But why is it so important? It's so important because it, it really allows us to continue the the services and ministries that we provide throughout the year. So while it is a, a direct effect on our Christmas efforts, it also helps us well into the new year as we continue to serve those in need, whether it's for uh, people experiencing homelessness or the, the Boys and Girls Club members who attend our Boys and Girls Clubs each day after school. Those, those funds that are collected in those kettles are vital to our operations throughout the year. Wow, it sounds like they make a big impact in the community. So how many volunteers do you need to keep the operation up and running? Well, we have, we have uh, multiple locations that we ring bells at. And so it, it's really important for us to have as many volunteers as possible because then that allows us to not have as much overhead costs when it comes to bell ringing. So uh, we really appreciate when individuals or families or work groups or social groups uh, can get together and, and take on a three hour shift, uh, you know, on a, on a day, a Saturday and ring bells. It's, it's so helpful for us. Yeah, and the bell ringing, you know, it happens in front of stores and in the community. It's kind of like an up close and personal experience. So how has yeah. bell ringing and recruitment kind of changed post pandemic? Yes, it, it's helped uh, the la last year, especially more people felt comfortable coming back out and, and ringing bells. So our volunteers were up a little bit last year. And uh, the great thing about bell ringing is you can also do it virtually. You know, if, if you're one of those who loves to shop online and do everything online, we have a, a virtual option for people to give to the Red Kettle as well. And so uh, both are equally as helpful for us, whether you volunteer in person or whether you uh, adopt a virtual red kettle or contribute to a virtual red kettle. Uh, both are extremely helpful. I like that. There's options for people, not just yes. in person, but also virtual. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, so and we also, now you, you no longer have to carry cash. You can tap your phone on, uh, on our sign and you can Google pay, Apple pay, Venmo, PayPal. We, we've tried to make it very convenient for the donor to be able to contribute uh, in whatever way they feel safest. So you can't use the excuse anymore that you don't have cash or change because now donating is just a tap away. That's right. <laughs> I like and that. And so uh, to, to, uh, to give or to volunteer, the best thing to do is go to our, our website, SalvationArmyCharlotte.org, and you can, have a, you can click on the kettle link or the volunteer link, and it will give you all the information you need. And uh, while we do our, our official Red Kettle kickoff here in Charlotte on November 18th, uh, several of the communities around us outside of Mecklenburg and Union counties uh, may have already begun. So you may already have seen some red kettles out there. Wow. So what does that kickoff celebration really look like? It's a, a matter of days away at this point. It is. It's a matter of days away. So our brass band will be out there and uh, we will uh, just have uh, the honorary first dollar drop into the kettle. And and uh, that day our kettles go out to the locations around, around the community. So... Uh, it's it's a great great day and a, a, a big celebration and, and we've been ringing bells here in charlotte since 1905 so it's really a staple in our our holiday community here 1905 i can't even do the quick math but that's more than 100 years right yes yes wow is there any particular area of charlotte where you need more help than others well we have locations around the metro area all around so uh, you know, we have mall locations, we have retail locations, grocery locations. So uh, that, that's the joy about volunteering when you go on our website and you can actually sign up to volunteer online and choose your location, choose your day, choose your, your time shift. And uh, it's, it's very, very convenient for the, the volunteer. So we, we hope people will, will check it out and consider volunteering for the Salvation Army this Christmas.